In the last video, we looked at getting started with Beamer. In this video, we're going to look at adding some different types of content into our presentation. First, let's talk about lists. Lists are a common way to present information in presentations, and they're very easy to set up. Just like in a normal LaTeX document, we can use the itemize and enumerate environments. Let's use the itemize environment to add in some bullet points. In between the begin and end commands, we use the item command to separate out our list entries. We can also nest lists within other lists. Here's an example. The enumerate environment is similar to the itemize environment, except it numbers items. We can change the numbers to Roman numerals by adding a capital I in square brackets at the end of the begin command. We can use lowercase Roman numerals by using a lowercase i. And we can even surround the numerals in parentheses like this. Finally, we can also nest an itemize environment inside an enumerate environment, or vice versa. Now let's talk about columns. To organize text into columns, we use the columns environment. Then to start a column, we use the column command followed by a width. We'll add in two columns, both with a width of half the text width. Now if we wanted to replace the second column of text with a picture, we could simply replace the text with the include graphics command. We don't need to load up the graphics package because Beamer automatically loads it. We'll also add the centering command in to put the image in the center of the column. We can also use the figure environment when adding in images. Here's an example. Notice I've scaled the image down and given it a caption. Next we'll look at the description environment, which is a type of list environment. Again, we use the item command, but this time we pass it an argument in square brackets. The text we enter in the brackets will appear on the slide in a different colour to the following text. This environment is great for listing definitions. Finally, let's finish by adding a table to a slide. Just like adding a table into a normal document, we use the tabular environment to create the actual table and then enclose it in the table environment to give us more options like adding a caption.
This concludes our first discussion on adding content into our presentation. In the next video, we'll look at adding some more advanced content. Please do subscribe to our channel by clicking the on-screen link and keep in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter and Google+.